Here we are with a former head coach of your St. Cloud State University Huskies from 1967 to 1987, John Oxton. Coach, thanks for joining me here. And uh, how important it is for you, knowing that you were a coach back in the early days, to keep in touch with the Husky wrestling. Well, it's it's not only fun; it's a it's a pleasure. Uh, my wife and I went flew down to the nationals last year uh, in Colorado, and, and uh, but it's so much fun to see a program that you worked on very hard, and 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 all the alumni and the wrestlers that worked very hard over the years to see a program come on and do so well as this program has done in the last few years. Dating back to when you coach and now. Uh, elaborate a little bit about the differences that you've seen in the sport. Well, it's it's pretty difficult. We talked about that a lot about comparing athletes. You can't compare an athlete from one decade to another decade. I don't think in any sport, but uh, wrestling is is difficult because they're wrestling under different rules. They're wrestling under different uh, conditions, uh, different time lengths. Um, and different interpretations of the rules too, which is important. And so it's really uh, uh, not not easy uh, to, to compare. Uh, wrestling is an individual sport, of course, and, and it's it's a sport that uh, we think brings out the best in people and allows them to, to show what they can do individually. Is there is there any work ethic or rules back in the early uh, '60s to late '80s that you saw? that uh, in nowadays you don't see very often. I mean, with the wrestlers that you worked with, is there any type of work ethic that you wish was used more uh, in uh, today's sport? Well, uh, I don't think... I don't think there's any. I think the young people of today, uh, first of all, they've had much better coaching in the high schools. And that isn't to say that the coaching back uh, in the 60s and 70s wasn't great, but uh, in the high schools because it has been. But it gets better every year. The coaching gets better. Uh, athletes start at a younger age many times. Uh, they they um, have so many more talents. They're so much more natural at it because they've they've learned it's it's like learning to walk, and they've learned to walk at a very early age in wrestling, and, and consequently. Uh, you see that, and that I think it makes a big difference as far as how coaches coach, because they're dealing with some in, internal problems in with regards to trying to put the best person on the mat and the person that's going to be around uh, every day in practice and that, that uh, can condition themselves so that they're not only in shape to wrestle the match, but so that they're in shape that they don't get an injury, which is really great. What's some advice that you would give to a young college coach that probably just got done coaching a good amount of years in high school, knowing that they're just starting a college program or taking a college program from a coach that has had that for quite some years? Well, I, yeah, experience is the best teacher in my my uh, book, I, I guess. Uh, and so if they've had a good high school coaching background and, and worked with young people, they certainly know how to go on. The difference which probably between high school and college coaching, in my opinion, is the fact that the high school coach can develop his own philosophy and, and, and uh, develop his own techniques as he goes along. And so you'll see High school kids come out and they're patterned after their coach and what their coach coaches. In college, that's not true because you've got young men coming from all over the country and, and they're competing and they've been under many, many different coaches, many different styles of wrestling, and consequently, you're, you as a coach have to mold that into a program. Last question here for you, John. Your best memory as a coach here at St. Cloud State. Oh, that's a, that's a tough one. Uh, there are a lot of, a lot of good memories. <clears throat> I think that's why I'm back. Uh, all those uh, uh, functions like this, or the matches, or the national tournaments, uh, because there's so many good memories. Um, I think probably uh, growing up, uh, wrestling, growing up in our program, and, and uh, my son wrestling in high school and college, and and uh, uh, all the things. You can talk about individual wins. You can talk about uh, dual meet wins and things like that, uh, and, and and national placements. All those things are critical and fun, but it's mostly the, the individuals that you deal with. And when I uh, meet them on the street and, and get a chance to talk with them and, and reminisce a little bit, that's that's a really special time. The winningest coach in St. Cloud State wrestling history, John Oxton. Thanks for joining me, John. Thank you.